Canadians became familiar with her when she appeared on the first season of Canada's Drag Race. And now millions around the world are learning all about math thanks to Kine. So you know how pi has infinitely many digits? 3.14159265, they just keep going forever. A fun fact is that at NASA, they only really use the first 15 digits to, you know, send a rover into outer space and land on Mars. And with just the first so Kain has more than a million followers on TikTok where she makes math easy to understand and very fun. Kain is joining us today on what also happens to be Pi Day. First of all, welcome Kain. You look fabulous. Like fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure. Now tell me about the decision to start a TikTok account where you are dressed in drag and explaining mathematical concepts. I love this. Oh my gosh. Well, I was a math major at the University of Waterloo, which is where I got um, yes, my degree, which is show just behind that. me. Come on now. Mm -mm. And, you know, I, while I was in school, I was doing drag, doing shows, not really blending the two worlds together because I didn't really think anybody was interested. Um, but one day I went on TikTok and I thought, like, maybe this would just be a funny little gimmick if I started yeah. telling my, like, math homework while dressed up in these costumes. Um, but what I found was that people actually really loved it. And I started getting messages from people all over the world saying that, you know, they love learning math this way and for me to do more. So I was like, you know what? Well, I have all these, like, ideas in my brain anyway. And I yes. love talking about math. It's my favorite subject. So, you know, why not educate the world? And make it fun, make it cool, make it vibrant. You have been able to turn this into a full-time job. Teachers are sharing your videos in their classrooms. You have a huge online following. What do you think it is about your videos that actually has grabbed a million people who follow you now? I think the way we're taught math in school, it can be very boring. It can be very frustrating because you're always just trying to get that um, good grade on your test. But, yeah. you know, I like to approach math and show people that math is fun and vibrant and beautiful, just um, as colorful as a drag queen. I absolutely agree with you. I loved math as well in high school. Um, I wouldn't say that I was as good as you, um, but, to <laughs> <laughs> but I did really enjoy it. There's something about getting that equation right and just feeling mm -hmm. so like mm, about yourself. Okay, so today is Pi Day and you're going to teach us a little bit about Pi. So first of all, for those who don't know and kids watching right now, what is Pi? Yes, so pi is the ratio between a circle's circumference and its diameter. So I got a little um, plate here from my kitchen. So this is a circle. So if we measure all the way around the circle, yep. um, I did that and got 67 centimeters with just one of these measuring, measuring tapes. And then yep. if we measure all the way across, that was 21.5. So that's circumference divided by the diameter. You'll divide those two numbers and you'll find you get a number that's somewhere between three and four. I got 3.12. Okay. But what's interesting is that cultures all throughout history have gotten um, different numbers for this. You know, some civilizations said it was 3.15, 3.12. So interestingly, they can't seem to agree. Huh. And one day, um, this Greek mathematician named Archimedes came up with a very clever way to um, calculate this number pi um, without relying on these primitive little measuring devices. He used yeah. math and he used equations and geometry and he found many more digits. And throughout time, people started um, suspecting that maybe pi has infinitely many digits Whoa. that we can't all write down. And by the 1700s, those suspicions were confirmed when we proved that pi was an irrational number, meaning that the digits go on forever and ever and they just never, never end. Repeat. So why, exactly. so really quickly, why is this so important in our real world? Like, where do we use pi for people wondering? Yeah, well, pi is just one of these um, special um, constants that appears in the equation for the area of a circle, the volume of a sphere. So it's used anytime if we want to build something in a circular shape. It's used in computers, in phones, um, in rocket ships. You and what's even more interesting, everything. yeah, is that it appears in equations where we wouldn't even expect it to appear. It appears in equations about probability and physics. It appears when we want to describe the movement of planets and the universe and even atoms and electricity. Kine, I could listen to you all morning talk about pie. Kids, know your pie. <laughs> Hey, thanks so much yes, for this I morning. Yes, I could talk all day. <laughs> God, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.